universe element black too much energy to, st to stay on the keyboard it popped out so we're back in the play del carmen and i have to admit the stones that we recovered in tulum they really have a punch to it <clears throat> and each one of them really made a huge shift and explosion and there's been a uh, since we recovered all of those artifacts there's been a lot of things happening the first thing i wanted to show you is so far i have two broken teeth have left eye still have 50 percent of the left eye and i started having this a couple of uh, a couple of days ago other leg it's uh, lighter also have some here uh, this looks like uh, some energetic poison and and it looks like the body's been trying to get rid of the poison uh, but uh, but the body is not able to get rid of it because it's energetic poison poisoning so now i'm i'm treating that and and dealing with that and in, in all of those cases in the case of the of, of the left eye in the case of the leg it's yeah, very very thick black magic black goo and and all kind of stuff in it so we're we're digging really deep into that but we're also making really 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 huge progress we also have a, the, a team of people who are helping me with all that and yeah we're really moving forward and they're saying we just recovered other stones in in Playa del Carmen we went back to the portal in Playa where we found the human bones so we went back there they since we closed the big portal there was some they did some construction and the the, the roads it's like they, they they move forward with the road construction in those areas a little bit and so we drove there we drove around came back in a, in a circle and then exiting those uh, construction roads then there was a like a, a gate and and someone watching there who told us to stop walk to us and he told us to never come here again that there's construction going on there's big machinery what we didn't see any machines and he really gave us a str strong warning not to come here again and the guy had very very uh, dark energy and he's connected directly to the ultraverse demon so he's working for them and the question is what is he guarding over there so I think there's still an active portal that he's guarding and it's kind of funny. So he gave us a very strong warning. We drove 30 meters in front of him and then Sofia was, oh, the stone is over here. So we picked up those three stones right in front of their eyes right where they have their active portal. So we really literally snapped those those relics <laughs> right under the face of those ultraverse demons so i think they were a little bit upset about that it seems to also have caused the collapse of, of, of the portal and so and the stones were 30 percent 32 percent infected so energies were quite unstable here because it it caused the collapse of their energy and a collision between their energy and, and uh, energy here so we recovered those and dealt with the energy but that's that's really good progress now i've also recovered a lot more of my powers now i'm able to do much better clear up so i was doing last night cleaning at the ultraverse level the ultravert had an overall vibration on the hawking scale of minus 318 and now it's at 24. so that's over 300 point jump so that, that, that's not bad for a, for a day of work. And our planet was at also around minus 315 or minus 312. And now it's about at 24 or 35 or around that. So the planet also did a huge jump. So we're really making huge, huge, huge progress in cleaning up bad curses, black goo, black magic. Right now it's... it's uh, as I'm recording this, we're on St. Valentine's Day, but we're working on all the sex black magic. 
before we started with the curse cleanup, the sex, black magic, addiction, uh, implants and all of that was 25% of the energetic mass of the planet. Now, right now, it's 13% and we're, we're cleaning that up today. So uh, that, that should uh, make everything better. So we're working on that right now. And we ordered a cake from a, a French, uh, French baker in uh, Playa with uh, berries and chocolate and tres leches, berries and chocolate. So I measure for this. For me, it's 3,200% good for me. For Irlanda, 15 million percent good. For Sofia, 25% million good. Sometimes it's about just finding the right energy for the moment. In this case, the cake is doing pretty much the job. This is a caracal. Is, uh, <laughs> there's under one, there's two. It's like the yin and the yang. Here there are two stones. This one is earth element. Este es elemento fuego. Most of the elements in Playa are, are fire or earth or air. Okay, we need to get out of here now otherwise something can happen. I just want to clarify that the stones can be in piece of plastic or um, remains of construction or walls or anything. Air element. <coughs> have five stones, that's good for now. In the long list of weird things, she just pulled out these three pieces of bones from my head. She pulled out these four pieces of bone from her head, her forearm, her teeth. Now she's pulling another one out of out of there. This one has a little bit of blood on it. So uh, mine looks like they were put there by witches maybe four years ago. These have been there for seven years. The one in the forearm, she pulled it 
out of here. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was coming out a little bit over there, and then she 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 kind of Menos. pulled it a little bit, and then she accidentally uh, like pushed it, went back inside, and then she like she, and then she pulled it back out of the body, but from elsewhere. This so like it went in there, it was super painful, and then it came out there. The skin opened up wide like this. Después lo empecé a sacar. Es así lo que lo que vi en dentro de mi brazo me trombo. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Three. So we have to look if I have more of these pieces in my body. She pulled under one from out of my mouth. These were hers. The big pieces were in her body. Those small too. This one, this one was in, in my back. She said that when she started pulling it out, the skin opened up wide like this. A little bit like happened in her forearm, but bigger, but more irregular. And Oh yeah, she, she says it pulled out big like this, which would sound kind of crazy if we didn't have all of these bones coming out of her body, so it's already weird enough. And this one pulled it out of the, the uh, in the eye, on the side of the eye, so I have one in the eye. In the mouth, I was kind of feeling something that was uh, like uncomfortable on the side of one teeth. Well, it, it turned out it was that. She pulled out one in the teeth, one in my nostril, one in my back, three in the head, and a bunch out of her body. So that should be good for now. We'll have to revise the Fernanda also. She's pulling out objects one after the other from, from her bodies. We pulled all of these out so far. A two inch screw from her ear, this from her uh, like from her heart, that from the under the tongue, this one under her nail, this one this piece from I have a broken teeth in my mouth that was in the in the broken teeth. She put this out of uh, under uh, like her armpit. Now my my feet was kind of uh, itchy. So I asked her to check my foot. Uh, she pulled this pencil out of my feet. It's leaving a little bit pulled out of here. And still a, like quite a bit painful. Wild stuff. So we are now in June. The first phase of the journey is now completed. And as you can see, my energy is getting a lot more stable. I'm finally able to start working again like that. Everything is, is falling back into place. Thanks to your donation that allowed us to, to get through the, the whole year because I've been an entire year unable to work on the business or with any clients and, and really like focusing on what's been happening here. And after I launched the Journey to the World campaign, as you know, things have gotten, started getting really ugly around the world. So all the, with all the lockdowns that got into place, uh, it's been impossible to, to go traveling, but uh, we've been able to recover a lot of the stone relics in the area here in Mexico. And that's really what shifted the balance. It, it's like as we recovered so, uh, those stone relics, it strengthened my energy in a way that would override uh, the energy of, of those other forces. And that really gave us the upper hand. And it's been a long battle, and we've been climbing up one step at a time, and, and, and we're finally here. So the second part of the journey, we will still need to do it around the world. 
there's probably going to be uh, more surprises and it's not going to go as expected, but we still need to do the journey. They are the, the most important relics that still needs to be uh, done later. I don't, I don't think anyone else could recover those uh, stones and relics that we need to go recover. If someone else tries, it's just going to disappear. But we will need to go on with the journey elsewhere, but on God's timing. So it's not urgent anymore. We're back on our feet. It can function. Now the priority is to get a more uh, stable foundation here in Mexico. So now I'm focusing on getting back to work, uh, getting a more better foundation. I'll need to get a house and, uh, and starting to work with some clients. And when is the time for the phase two of journey to the world around the world? Then you will know about it and it's going to be more surprises. So it turns out that all the strongest attacks come from shadow fragments of ourselves and shadow fragments of myself, shadow fragments of Sophia. And we've been able to fully contain that. And the attacks finally stopped. Then, right now, 72% of all timelines are war timelines where people get very strongly attacked. And we need to get out of the war timelines into 12% of timelines that we can actually get things done moving forward. So we need to secure, see the Orion Federation is working on securing that 12% of timelines where people can get things done. So of execution timelines or master timelines. And to get out of the war timeline, there's a mantra I just channeled. Getting out of the war timeline and into the best timelines. Vi la tu lak clang tung. Vi la tu la clang tung. Repeat that 20 times or 50 times or 100 times. And another mantra to cancel negative manifestation, which is another big problem with all of our shadow fragments. To cancel negative manifestation. Manu satya lak bubu. Manu satya lak bubu. Manu satya lak bubu. Repeat that 50 times or as needed. I also released some. Um, videos on my channel where I repeat those, all those mantras 50 times. And finally, the non-humans that have been invading Earth, they come into the body, hijack the cord of incarnation that grounds the spirit into the physical body, take the soul out and take their place. Uh, now we're, what, 45% of them disintegrated and the bulk of all of the other ones are getting pulled out as we speak. And they will be trapped as insects on some desolate planets for at least 800,000 years. And just approaching, approaching the field of those planets, anyone's going to lose their memory. So it's high security prisons. It's better not to tune into those uh, areas but they will be leaving Earth. Well, they are leaving Earth right now, so that's going to solve a huge problem. So we are concluding phase one of Journey to the World, as things are still quite ugly elsewhere, Canada, UK, with the vaccination things is, um, a lot of things kind of appeared dis discouraging in the world right now, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm back on my feet and things are looking very good here. Then we'll need to look into phase two, going around the world and dealing with a lot of, <laughs> of the stuff that's happening on a larger level for later. So it's been a pleasure and until later.